In the backfield, high snap over the head of Miller. He'll have to hustle. He can't get to it. It's a scoop and score the other way. Helvetic on the scoreboard for the first time today, and they lead 6 to nothing. Easiest touchdown will be picked up by the season for J.R. Devai, the USC guy coming from Los Angeles, California, making an instant impact, and Helvetic on the board leading 6-zip. On the other side of things, and Tavai, all he had to do was pick that thing up cleanly of this half. Miller, opposite sky, the screen. Nasita, Nasita dashing his way, breaking tacklers down the sideline, trouble for Barcelona. Breaking several tacklers, we first down. The screen was developed well. He had a couple blockers for Nasita, then he breaks the tackle, he's off to the races. Excellent design there. Pushing the bounds, let's say at the 12-yard line. Another pass out the end zone. Barlow up the field he goes, and it is caught. Who was looking to remain alive there as the see they're able to get a one-handed catch pulled in there. Nasita's there. Brought a big pass in there, but... Trips bunch near side. Harvey in the shotgun. Belt high. He's going to pass. Running for his life. Up the field he goes. It's complete. Are you kidding me? Back to back completions there by Harvey, the tight end. Doing his part. Look at this reception. I'm riding the shotgun. Where's the shotgun snap? Play fake. It was a penalty mark. This might be a free play, but is there a fumble also? Let's see. But there is a penalty marker on the play. Fine, right? And it is intercepted. Look who it is. Pick up the phone. It's a house call. Maceo Beard. Touchdown. Pick six. But here is the extra. Here's the pick six. As this is going to be an 80 yard interception and return for a touchdown. Von Wright. As not only was the intended receiver, but Maceo Beard saw it, and there was nothing but tail lights from there. Ryan Wright, up the field he goes, intercepted. Are you kidding me? Down the sideline, looking for a scene and some daylight. Andres Berry. Ryan Wright. I don't know if he actually saw the defender there, especially in all red, but just a bad throw, underthrown, and also a bit behind Stewart Jr. And Andres Berry. Having to yell at the lines for the punts upcoming. And here it goes. 
Bounces at the midfield line, and the return man picks it up. That was a pretty interesting decision, but it's the right one so far. Here he goes, past the 30, past the 20. He is gone. Touchdown Helvetic guards just like that. Ken Hike Jr. bringing it to the house. Well, normally if you have two guys right in front of you, you do not touch that punt. But he said, you know what? I have a lane. Let me see what I can do with it. Ran off to the right, saw there was trouble on the right side, decided to go to the left. Nobody was there. Nobody touched him whatsoever. An excellent job there by the guards, recognizing what was going on and going, hey, you know what? Let's not block anybody. He's got an open lane. Don't touch anybody. Don't block anybody. So alone on third down, just slips it in front and take it away. Here go the guards the other way. This is just what they needed. To the 30, to the 25, and Zaraka gets smacked in the face. Ball maybe came out right there at the end and a few discussions right there between the players with some extra words. But the guards are in business as Andreas Burry. That was deflected. Constant was looking for a flag. There is a flag on the field. As you saw him paw at Zaraka's face right there. And Zaraka didn't appreciate that very much. You can imagine that. A linebacker putting his mitt in your face like that that doesn't feel comfy one more look boom and so Zaraka and Zaraka lining up directly under center that means just one thing a QB sneak but everybody saw that coming Zaraka with the spin forward ball comes out they don't call a touchdown instead Hyde Jr. is running the other way with the ball here he goes to midfield nobody in front of him here go the guards all the way Hyde Jr. with a touchdown the other way for now at least what a turn of events they call it touchdown guards. Special teams has to come up with something. Zaradka with the interesting idea to spin forward. But the guards saw what was coming and bopped it out of his hands. And Hike Jr. did the rest with the help of his friends in front. And the guards are somehow, some way back in this one. I think that touchdown is going to stand for the guards. My goodness. That turn from a two yard touchdown run for Zaraka. For the Raider offense, ball in the meantime inside Helvetic guard territory. Snap from about the 43-yard line. Dolinchek intercepted. Masio Baird says, Oui, Monsieur, Masio Baird is in a foot race to the end zone. Masio Baird for Cespoir. And the man from the City of Lights in Paris has lit up the scoreboard for the Helvetic guards here in the second half. As Joseph Dolinchek just served up a Big old pick to number one. The man they call MC was more like MC Hammer saying, can't touch this. Good presence of mind on the run on the run back, and he got just past uh, Steven Nielsen. Of course, Nielsen was hampered in the... Long ball from Noble, he's got a man. Valerie wants to get on the highlight reel. He's going to get uh, reeled in himself. Lucas Valerie. Well, young uh, Till Janssen. Hurry down the long. Noble pressure. Let it fly. Near side. It, it is caught. Messina. 
He's going to be dragged inside the tin. 